for signing up. Thank you for, can you guys see me clearly or is there something in front of my face? I see you clearly. Okay, I removed it. <laughs> it was saying we were recording. I'm Venus and nice to meet all of you. Um, I am a Kundalini yoga teacher. I teach yoga and meditation. I have taught for the last two years and I have been a practitioner of Kundalini yoga for maybe like mm, the last eight years as um, someone practicing and also someone making yoga apparel and I've created turbans for the last 11 years. So I've kind of been a part of the yoga community as well as um, cancer community, mm. and meditation centers and things like that. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to share about um, meditation, mantra, and movement is the theme of yoga with Venus practice. And as you guys have probably reviewed or checked, we're in the process of rebranding um, my teachings and everything so that you'll have access to them. But one of the things I like sharing is some of the things I enjoy doing on a daily basis as a form of self-care for myself, which I have found to be absolutely essential as I myself have experienced um, a lot of loss in the last year and a half and just finding ways to stay balanced, um, finding ways to relax. Um, that doesn't mean you're pausing for long periods of time in your day, but you are doing something to find that balance for yourself. One of the things I have behind me is like some of my favorite things. And one of my favorite things that I have here is, this is lavender, if you guys can see it here. So I keep lavender in my bedroom on a daily basis. I look at it, I burn it. Um, I also make lavender oils for myself because lavender is considered to be one of the most um, relaxing um, just herbs that you can be around. And I found that it helped me sleep a lot when I was feeling very restless quite often. The other thing that I try not to live without are my crystals. And this is just one, that, one of many that I have that I keep around me that bring me joy and help me to relax as well. The other thing is just nature. It's one of the reasons I have the plants and you guys see to the left. This is my Christmas tree that has not been decorated yet. <laughs> um, nature, sunshine. Our music right now is um, not operating properly from the device, but one of the things I have and I will still um, share with you guys is a playlist that I use or I have all of these things, but one of the things that I always have on is our ma is mantra music. Mantra music, um, sound current, the healing values where it's relaxing or you're up dancing, movement, um, or just to get you calm. One of the things I started doing that helped a lot with some of my um, customers that have bought products for me, most are yoga teachers or own yoga studios, is that we found that we were so busy every day running our businesses and struggling to get to in-person yoga classes, and this was before COVID, is that we all formed this three-minute meditation group on WhatsApp together. And I have to be honest, I wasn't interested at all in, in participating in it. But what it did for me, it gave me three minutes of the day that I had to myself. And each time we focused on a different meditation with a mantra music combined with it, it would just be a reset. So for those of you who have maybe not done any type of meditation before, meditation is to bring relaxation to the body, to the mind. It gives clearance. Um, uh, for me, it gives directive as well. I enjoy sitting meditations as well as walking meditations where I kind of start off 
in the morning, I set an intention or sometimes I just do it to get the fresh air, the sunshine, the grounding of your feet to earth is another form of meditation if you are not a person who wants to just sit and be. But the three minute changed my life. We did it for 40 days at a time and I ended up participating in like four of them. And the first three we all did together. And after that, you would simply take the practice and you did it whenever you could. So one of the practices, which is funny, I don't think I've ever taught it without music. Um, I'm gonna do a quick tuning in. Um, as we all do of Aung Namo Guru De Namo as a part of our Kundalini yoga practice, which is I bow to the divine feminine within. And it's in Gurmukhi, which is a Indian language that most of a lot of the mantras are in that we listen to. Um, I tune in three times. I go into my set and I sit there. So I'm going to tune in. I just ask that you sit in easy pose if you can, which is just with your legs crossed and your spine back and straight. We'll bring both palms together. Just sit. Deep breath, inhaling, exhaling. One more time, inhaling. Exhaling. Oh, no. posture. One of the things that happens when we tune in is one of the mantras is that we all have our own light through our own voice current that carries energy. So when we tune in with Kundalini Yoga and we're bowing to the divine wisdom and infinity within all of us that we all have, is to set the tone to start your practice for the day. Now, I've been tuning in like that for almost the last 10 years. If you ever decide to tune in like that on your own and you're not used, because it took me a while to get used to saying on the Mogura Day the Mog, you can simply be like on the Mogura Day the Mog, on the Mogura Day the Mog. So I say it three times for yourself, for the other person and the room for the community and then for the universe. And then to start off, one of the things or areas that we carry a lot of tension in our bodies, shoulder, neck area, disease forming in the back and in our stomach, our solar plexus energy, right? So on a daily basis, after tuning in, a set that I like to do is Sufi grind, which you remain in easy pose. You can put your hands either on the cuff front of your knees, or you can do it right by holding your ankles here in front. And you're just going around in a circle from this center of the rear navel. And as you start to come to the front, you're inhaling, back, exhaling, inhaling, back, exhaling. And if you keep going with your eyes closed without getting dizzy, 
do so. But at this moment, you need to keep your eyes open. It's fine. Again, you're breathing forward. You're inhaling. You're just being gentle with yourself. And now just try going in the opposite direction with the exact same movement. So inhaling as you move forward, exhaling as you come back. As you come back to the center, returning to the center and taking a big inhale, exhale, you want to just gently ground back into your body. Thing that to help with um, there's a set called the spinal flex, and so you're it's like that. You're remaining in easy pose. You have your hands cupped on your knees, and you're simply moving your rib cage forward here on this back. So it's like. Inhaling forward, back. exhaling back. Inhaling forward, going back. And this is the movement. You guys keep going with that movement for a second. I'm going to see if we can get the music going one more. Gently start to come back to the front, holding, inhaling, holding, squeezing your navel, buttocks, and tight shoulder. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Squeezing navel, buttocks, shoulder, squeeze tight, hold. Relax. For so the next movement, just sit straight, legs out in front of you, just gently apart, like a little bit of a hip width apart. So I just want to show you like that. It should be just like that. You're raising your arms up and you're inhaling as you bend over. Now this bend, you would be gently reaching for your toes and your thumbs would be into the nail bed. As an adjustment for that movement, I always also start with hands up. I inhale as I'm bending over. You bend down to your calves. If the calves are too much or to your ankles, if that's too much, you can just do the adjustment here and bend over. So I'm gonna start again, inhaling, going down to whatever point is comfortable for you. And you're just gonna sit here and hold and just breathe, eyes closed. We are just flexing our spines here.
practice and letting go and being free. Having a feeling of nothingness in our minds right now. A nice inhale, exhale, inhaling as you come up, exhaling, returning back to easy pose. Do you have any audio from the music right now at all? The next thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to do some neck movement, shoulder movement, tension, stress. All of our movements are about blood flow, more oxygen in the body that helps with relaxation and healing. So sitting in our easy pose, and we're just gonna do some gentle shoulder moves. Right now we're moving back. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, and just gently moving here. Going with that movement. Now we're going to change directions and we're just going to come forward. Mm. Going forward. Now as you come forward, bring both shoulders up, inhale, squeeze the navel, buttocks, shoulders tight, inhale and hold, relax. One pose I like to do quite often when I wake up in the morning is the neck roll. Just taking your neck in circular motion. Should be going clockwise right now. Continue with that motion, and now we want to go in the opposite direction. Hmm. Just melting away our daily stress, our overthinking. being with ourselves right now. Nurturing your spirit. Your body. As you slowly start to come back to your heart. 
a nice gentle inhale. Exhale. As you lay in easy pose right now, we're going to do a three minute meditation. In doing meditation, you want your spine to be straight. You're welcome to bring hands into prayer pose. You're going to bring your both palms together. Um, so you can get your heart center there. If you like, if it's more relaxing, mudra, palms relaxing on your knees, up or down. Today is a full moon. Like setting intentions for the full moon, the high energy time, for whatever you desire right now for yourself. For those who are more sleek, more care, more love, more family, more vacation, whatever it is right now. We're going to set the intention for that as a part of our meditation. So have your eyes closed. Relaxing your mind.
I just slowly start to come back to the invitation to begin to open our eyes. Start to come back and ground into your body. space where you are now, on your mat or on your floor, or just gently lie down, flat on your back, there, flat, and facing forward, relaxed, palms up rather with eyes closed. We're going to go into a gentle savasana.
So as you slowly start to gently come back, just want to lift our arms up above our heads, taking a nice long stretch. Gently moving our feet and our wrist, your hands in circular motion. Slowly, gently start to bring your knees into your chest. Bringing knees into chest. Rocking slowly. As you hug yourself with both arms, hugging the knees, rocking gently on your back, left to right. Right here, we're massaging our adrenal glands. We're an immense amount of our stress glands. Now just gently start to rock back and forth with front back. And as you do that, if you're able to just gently drop yourself back up or just lift yourself back up and just gently bringing yourself back into easy pose. If your legs or your knees are feeling tight, the easy pose is too much. 
bring your legs straight out in front of you and shake. Just shaking your knees. In case you're having any uh, blood flow slow down, which is when the, your knees, your ankles, or your foot can sometimes fall asleep. Shake that out a bit. So one of the things that I like to do in each class before we close out of this set is I'm going to do like a sharing before we end the class. So as your eyes are closed, Bring both palms together. Rubbing gently up and down, balancing the left and the right side of the brain. Bringing both palms to the heart center. And a big inhale. Exhale. May the longtime sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide and aid you. Close each class with sat down, and truth is my identity. And then, I just want to thank all of you for joining the class session. Secondly, I want to say that in the teachings, in the mantra, in the movement, in the meditation, you know, it's all for us. It's all to help, to balance. All of us into more love and light. I hope that I was able to extend a little bit of that to you today. It was in a, we did more of a capsule version of it, but they were little samplings of sets that you can do at home. I've done neck rolls of many times in my car. <laughs> Um, to just, you know, bring us back to that space of um, that calm, that moment of like, sometimes it's just taking a, di a deep inhale, a deep exhale when life becomes overwhelming and just the quick reset when you're saying, okay, what way am I going? What am I doing next? And just that, the calming to bring us back to, okay, I can only do one thing at a time. Thank you. I wanted to, um, for everyone, as a part of sharing the sound current and the practice, if everyone could just say hello and their name and where they're from.